Following President Trump's remarks on Charlottesville, one CEO after another quit the two White House business panels to the point where Wednesday, the president himself tweeted that he was just going to disband all of them. Trump's tweet came just moments after two more executives announced their resignations from his manufacturing council on Wednesday. Leaders of the Strategic and Policy Forum said they were disbanding because the Charlottesville debate had become a distraction to their purpose. The two councils included some major finance and business leaders, and it was seen as a way for the president to hear advice from top CEOs to help him create more jobs. Joining me now to discuss is branding expert Bruce Turkle, author of All About Them. Bruce, uh, how unprecedented is this for a president to lose multiple business leaders from his council? It's absolutely unprecedented. Think about this. What could be more prestigious than being plucked from your company and asked to help lead the country forward? Whether you agree or disagree with who's in office. But what's happened is the CEOs now have control because what they've said is that they do not want to be associated with this president or this administration. This has never happened before. He loves to point to the stock market continuing to go up. Of course, this was happening under the previous administration uh, as well. What's the deal with the uh, relationship that these businesses and their leaders have with Trump in the wake of the controversy? I mean, how is it going to affect their bottom line or will it at all? Three critical things to talk about. First of all, the stock market has been going up month after month after month, more long before he ever came into office. Right. So that's a specious claim. Second of all, customers board members, employees, and shareholders vote much quicker than voters do. So the fact that they are pulling out now means they understand that if they stayed, this would cost them business long before you and I get to vote. And third of all, you notice that the stock market dropped precipitously two days ago. None of these companies' stocks dropped any more than anybody else's. This was a way for them to save their businesses. This will not harm their businesses. What do you mean save their business? Because you mentioned too, on Thursday, it was uh, the Dow was down, what, 274 points? What's the significance right. of that? Well, the significance of the Dow dropping, of course, can be a lot of things. I personally believe it's because people are saying, what the hell is going on here and how can we be a part of this? But specifically to these businesses, they cannot afford to have their brand value drop. And their brand value drops when their consumers and their shareholders have an emotional response, not an intellectual response, not what I'm buying, not what stock I'm buying, but how I feel about the company. And I don't feel good about the company when the logo it's associated with is a Confederate flag or a swastika. You know, I mean, that's a great point. We've seen now the president is personally attacking people who go against him. Uh, Ken Frazier, uh, the CEO, uh, Amazon, he went after. Um, is this going to hurt his probe? Does he basically have any friends in the business community left? Even Carl Icahn said, I'm ending my informal relationship with you as an advisor. And Carl Icahn was the guru business uh, advisor that Donald Trump constantly cited on the campaign trail. You know, that's a great question, Jacob, and it goes deeper than that, because here's the big issue. Your authentic truth is where your brand lives. So when Trump didn't do so well with foreign policy, people said, well, you know what, he's not a foreign policy guy. When he didn't do well with legislation, they said, well, he's not a politician. He's a businessman. That's his authentic truth. Well, what we're finding out is that his authentic truth is a lie. He is not a businessman. He can't hold businessmen together. It will not hurt the companies. This will be devastating for his brand. All right, Bruce Turkel, I got it wrong the first time. Forgive me for that. I can relate. Soborov, Sabarov, all those kind of things. Uh, thank you so much. Great to see you <laughs> thank here you today. Thank you so much.